Kiernan's diagnosis was completely by accident. Kiernan was riding in the back seat of my pickup truck one day. And I don't know if Connor has it, but Kiernan has oral fixation. He, uh, he, we now keep chewies. He typically wears one around his neck. He chews on everything. At that time, he was five. He somehow found a bungee cord in the back seat of my truck and he was chewing on it. And I hit a bump and it hooked him underneath his tongue, like behind his teeth, but under his tongue to the point that Amanda had to reach around and pull it out. It was, yeah, it was bad. And so she gave him some water to rinse his mouth out. And it was, uh, he has a really high pain tolerance. So after that, he was pretty much okay. A couple of days later, that side of his face swelled up. Uh, okay, he's got an infection. He's got an infection from something that was on that. So we took him to the pediatrician. Hey, we need some antibiotics. And he saw a nurse practitioner that was somewhat familiar with Kiernan's file because it was a small practice, but had never laid eyes on Kiernan. And so we were just talking to the nurse practitioner about, you know, his oral fixation. And he noticed that he was a little speech delayed and just seemed a, a bit, a, just a bit younger than his age, not much, but just a bit. Yeah. And um, then of course, seeing the Kiernan has sort of the light colored hair, really dark eyebrows, really full eyebrows, really full lips, and just some of the physical characteristics. And this doctor, this nurse practitioner says, have you ever had him genetic tested? He said, no. He said, I'm thinking Hunter Hurler. Oh, so he was like that close. He knew the MPSs. Like he knew that. Yeah. yeah. He knew it was in the MPS world, or he suspected that it was. So we got in with the genetics really fast. It seems like uh, that time, all that time is kind of a blur, but it seems like we were under a week. We were in with the genetics, uh, here at East Tennessee. And then we get the, we, like I said, we get the call and the way our genetics worked is if it's something really rare, like San Filippo, they will tell you what it is, but then they're like, okay, don't Google it. Don't get on the internet. Just come see us tomorrow and we'll talk about options. Every family almost has that don't Google it story. Yeah. Well, the same the thing thing. I Googled mine, by the way, literally while I was sitting there staring down at my phone and I see uh, life expectancy teen to early adulthoods. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is not good. Exactly. Well, for us, there was no need to Google because this was in June. And at the end of April, April 28th, let's see. Yes, April 28th, 2020, it was like 40 days before a friend of ours from high school who lives here in this in, in our area, his name is Chester Hembry. Yeah. Chester's son, Chester's son Lucas had died of San Filippo yeah. 40 days before. Wow. And we had followed Lucas. We knew. Oh, wow. We knew instantly. Wow. So. It was not a good time. We were together effectively when we heard. I know I was out. I was way out in the pasture. I was probably half to three quarters of a mile away from the barn where Amanda and Kiernan were. And Amanda sent me a text and said, genetics just called. And I said, what news? And she said, I'll tell you when you get back. And then the question became, how do we tell our other three kids? So who did you tell first? Like what did you tell anybody right away or no? Or just, did you two keep it a secret? I think it was our kids. No, I think it was our kids and it was very, it was very soon. It could have been that very day. If not, it was the next. And they were, we did old. not. We were kind of older though, right? Teenagers or what? Yeah. So let's see. Uh, they're, th they're all three years apart. Rory next rory is the next oldest he would have been eight kellen then was 11 and liran was 13 or 14 we were in our van and we just said hey we said hey do you guys remember lucas lucas Embry?" and they said yeah they because they sort of they didn't follow as closely as we did but they were aware of lucas and who who lucas was and and everything and we said Okay, Kiernan just got diagnosed with the very same thing. 